topic for today is CVs. What are they? How do we use them? I'm not going to go into the details of programming, so don't get all excited about that. Uh, I'm just going to try to answer these two questions. CV stands for con configuration variable. Um, in the computer world, a variable is a place in memory where information is stored. Um, and a CV configuration um, is used to store things such as engine's address, startup speed, how loud the, how loud the horn will be, um, acceleration, deceleration, things like that. There's some CVs, such as CV29, that hold several pieces of information at once. And I'm going to briefly talk about that in a few minutes. Examples of CVs you can read here. Engine address, start voltage, acceleration, deceleration, max voltage, et cetera. And CV29, which is a configuration register. There's a whole lot more. CV29 holds several pieces of information. Uh, as you can see, your, your address, direction of travel, um, whether or not you're using a loadable speed table, and whether or not you're going to run in digital or analog mode. All of those are, are, are stored in that one CV. When the engine is powered up, the decoder will read all of the CVs and set itself to operate according to the CVs. Um, this process obviously only takes a few seconds. For instance, the decoder will, will read first CV29 and determine whether or not you have a two or four digit address. If it, it will then read CV1 or CV17 and 18, depending on how many digits your address is to determine the actual address. Once it's got the address, it, it will then read from CV2 to 3 to 4 or 5, et cetera, until all of the setup CVs are, are, are read. To program, again, I'm not going to get into the specifics, but uh, I will give you some general information. To program CVs, the engine will normally need to be on what we call a program track. Program track is an isolated piece of track that's connected to the program terminals of your command station. This is a picture of the general, the DS100 or 200 Digitrax command station. And you see Prog A, I've got the little red stars there, and Prog B, those are the two terminals that you connect to your program track. Um, then once you get that done, you'll press program on your throttle. This is a, a standard Digitrax 402 throttle. The program button is right here, if you can see my cursor. You press that and you'll get the word program on the screen. And you'll also get right here in the middle, a thing, a, a two letters, PD. It could be PD, PM, PX, PL, but in most cases, PD is the right one. And you, every time you press the program button, it'll change. So you want to get it to PD in most cases. On the throttle, in this case, the 402 throttle, the left knob, control, left knob controls the uh, CV, and the right knob controls the value. If you notice, CV number is right here and data or value is right here. DAT is what, what it says. Uh, once you get the program, the CV number and the data number where you want it, you press enter and that programs that particular CV. An example would be startup voltage to 15. So we've got the CV as two, which is startup voltage and the value or data at 15, which is the, the, the amount of power you want to, to start the engine with. And then you'd press the enter key, which is not shown in this picture. If you want to read a CV, make sure the engine is in the programming, is on the programming track, set the throttle to program mode, then on the, on the throttle, select the CV that you want to read. 
then press the DS, DISP or display button. And in a few moments, the CV's value will be displayed. For instance, in this case, we're looking at CV 29 and the data is 16. It's fairly simple. There's a lot of other ways to program. The most common is to use JMRI. Uh, to do that, you've got to have a device that'll connect your, um, your uh, command station to a computer. Uh, Digitrax PR4 is the most common with Digitrax and with other uh, uh, um, brands of, of DCC equipment. I'm sure there, there's something similar. The newer Digitrax command stations have got uh, that PR4, uh, uh, PR4 uh, uh, function built in so you can connect the the, uh, a USB cable directly to the command station. A program such as JMRI will see the value of every CV on your engine and it will allow you to change any of the settings as you determine necessary with a nice screen. I should have included a picture of a JMRI screen, but I, but I didn't. Um, much simpler than uh, going through the process that I just talked about. It'll also allow you to save all the CVs for a particular engine. That way, if something happens and the engine forgets the CVs, you can reprogram it very simply and all the CVs will be, will be programmed as they were saved. Now I've made this kind of quick, assuming that there might be some questions. So if you have any questions,